60 Cycle Hums coverage of Summer Nam 2019 is brought to you by Sinusoid Cables, Harmony Guitars, Cusack Music, Mojo Hand Effects, and Boss. Hey everyone, I'm Ryan, you're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and I'm going to do something that I haven't ever done before, which is stupid because I've been coming to Nam forever. I'm going to play Reverend Guitars. I always see him, I always walk by him, and then I regret it, you know, weeks, months later when I remember, like, oh man, I should have checked out all these reverends. So I'm going to get a bunch of content here. Uh, this is one of their new ones. I don't know the model name. There's no markings that tell me a model name or anything like that. So I'm sure I'll look it up later and I'll flash it on the screen and have a link down below or whatever. It looks very attractive. Modern appointments, locking tuners, uh, kind of a modern jumbo fret sort of thing going on. Some kind of like mahogany looking neck here. I don't know for sure what the wood is. A flamey blue maple leaf thing going on. I know that this knob on Reverence is like a low-end contour knob or something like that for the pickups. That'll be interesting to play around with. The pickups look interesting. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to try this one and then I'm going to try uh, two more other newer guitars. I'm going to do another video where I pick three guitars and decide which one I would buy, I guess. This is on my clean patch. Let's try that contour. Yeah. I think that's what it's called anyways. Correct me if I'm wrong. What is this knob called? Because it feels like, like a low-end contour kind of knob. That's what I would call it. Either it takes the lows off or it puts the lows in. I don't know. I'm interested to see how that will work with like dirty sounds. Alright, so that's been the bridge pickup. Here's the middle setting. It's a fun, comfortable player. I'll say that. modern player with these kind of tall frets. They're a little bit catchy on the ends, but I wouldn't call them sharp. They just have that modern tactile thing going on. Let's try some dirt. Got the crunch setting here. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Like, it could be the sort of thing that helps you find your place in the mix. It's like the subtle EQ shift between having like a booming low and more of a like high mid low 
I know I just said three words like that. That's nonsense. More of like a high mid sound versus a low mid sound is I guess what I would say. grab one of the other new ones now. Should I do a little high gain? I'll do a little high gain, then I'll grab one of the other new rub rings. I'll flash up the model info for it. Maple neck back here. Kind of a roasted maple sort of look. Satin finish. Blocking tuners. Attractive binding on the neck here and the body. RGX. I don't know what that stands for. But I assume that's uh, something to do with a model name or number. Cool kind of like grayish like flamey wood paddle pattern here. It's not a deep flame. It might even be a photo finish of some kind. But it's an interesting texture, but there's just not really any uh, depth to it, whatever it happens to be. I like the metal pickguard scratch plate here. Of course, there's unique looking pickups. I know they have model names for those pickups. I just don't know them. I'm not super familiar with Reverend. And that's why I'm doing this video, because I want to learn. I want to learn, I want you to learn with me. I want you to educate me in the comments. We're on a journey together, right guys? All right, I'm gonna switch back to the clean sound. I'll check this thing out. I'm assuming it's gonna sound very similar to the other one. This just has a Wilkinson trim on it versus the Tunematic. There is a push pull on this one. Is that gonna be a coil cut? Can't really tell. It's doing something. I just don't know what. <laughs> I'll have to look it up in the information later. I feel like this one's got higher output. It's making this, uh, this clean patch I have crispy. these Wilkinson terms are like you can get really crazy and divey with them and then of course you can get more subtle of course I just put it out of tune a little bit That's been the bridge pickup. Here is the neck. Let's check out the range of that contour knob.
same like great playing feeling as the other one. Kind of a tall, fret, modern fret, kind of a tactile experience on the edge here, not you know perfectly smooth or anything like that, but not everyone likes perfectly smooth. Not everyone likes not perfectly smooth either. So it's good that I give you that information, right? That I tell you what style of fret it is. It's not just like, oh it's good. I'm like, hey, it's got a little bit of a you know a feeling there. You can feel the edge of the fret as you're playing. It's not like this you know, glossy, smooth, dome rounded edge on there. I think that's useful information. I think I'm being honest with you. Do you think I'm honest? Let me know in the comments. Now I'm gonna grab something up off the tall rack here. This is another new one. I got like a press release in my email inbox about this guy. Thought it looked pretty cool. This double horn thing, triple P90s. Cool little pick card thing going on here. Let's see what it sounds like. Let's see what it plays like. Painted neck. Locking tuners. Same frets as the last. It's like they have a, a fret style that they do. I don't know if any of these are that contour. Five-way switch. That's better. I mean, stuff gets played by everyone here. No one should judge anything by it being in tune or out of tune. Really, whether or not it stays in tune or falls out of tune while you're doing normal stuff. So, here we go. Let's play this guy. having a five-way switch between three P90s. I don't know if I've ever combined a bridge in a middle P90 before. Middle position. Number four position. And then the neck. I expect things out of this. Let's see if the neck delivers. I think it's a, the natural home of a P90. It sounds nice. It feels nice. This guitar too, like I've got a, I'm getting a nice resonance from it. I guess my diaphragm. It's a semi-hollow with a center block. I'm pretty sure this one is called the Manta Ray. Let's try some dirt, huh? Like the, the number four through the number two, like all kind of feel about the same to me. Maybe there's a little bit of a different sparkle there. But it could all just be covered by just the middle pickup with a three way switch. I mean, it's all kind of living in that same territory. But, you know, it's good to have options. Maybe it does different things with different, you know kind of gain boxes, distortion pedals or whatever, amp gain, whatever you happen to be using. Let's check out the high gain. 
the exact price of these but I'm kind of familiar with the uh, the Reverend price point kind of like sub a thousand bucks if I'm guessing that right I'll flash a correction up here if I'm wrong but kind of in that range like just south of a thousand maybe they have a few models that are north of there but you know good build quality nice attention to detail good hardware fun concepts a little bit extra with those contour knobs on the other models, maybe on this model. I couldn't figure it out. I feel like I should have been more educated on the brand a long time ago. I'll say that. All right, so this has been the newest Reverend models. I'll put all the information down below. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, just like we do. We've got some comments, support some Patreon support, and thank our sponsors. I've got links down below to each of them. Uh, you've seen their title cards. They made this trip possible. Our Patreons made this trip possible as well. So if you ever want to support us through Patreon, it's a great thing to do. It helps us travel. It helps us get this kind of like wild out there content that I just wouldn't be able to swing without you know some kind of financial assistance. So anyways, see you later. Stay grounded. Bye, everybody.